Katrina is pretty hard to beat, but not an impossible target to overcome. This video will let you know of your options against her so that you can weigh them out when you see her in game. The Silence Hex Bag can be unlocked from Annie at level 16, but do note that you will need to buy all of the other level rewards with Eternal Grace before being allowed to purchase the Hex Bag. Eternal Grace can be earned by completing your daily challenges. The Hex Bag has a range of 5 meters. After hitting someone with the Silence Hex Bag, they cannot use any abilities or their character power for 15 seconds. It also disables the character's power if it is currently active. Since Katrina has very low mobility, she is especially susceptible to certain traps like the Slow Trap and the HP Debuff Trap. The Frag Trap by itself won't hurt her much unless she is standing right on top of it, but it will concuss her and throw off her aim a little bit. The High Recoil Trap could also serve to keep her bullets away from you. These traps work even better when combined together. If you'd like to know everything about all of the traps currently in the game, please check out my earlier video titled Everything You Need To Know About Traps and Curse. Headshot damage has been increased, so now it is actually possible to down her by headshotting her. But beware, while you're trying to hit her in the head, she can still shoot you anywhere, so you're going to need to be very careful about how you engage her. On the release, you could easily melee her when she was activating her ability, but that's not the case anymore ever since they massively reduced the amount of time it takes for her to bring the power up. The only situation where meleeing will make sense is if you are also Katrina and you lowered her HP beforehand, or you have a pan and are ready to hit her like 15 to 20 times. Not even Clyde and Beast Mode could deal any real damage to her. For most of you, the best option is going to be to wait for her power to end and then kill her afterwards. Well, if you are also playing Katrina, you should use your power after they do and stay just close enough to capitalize on their power ending. For everyone else, stay out of her line of fire until it's over and then beat her how you would any other character. Now that you know how to beat her, you should be at least a little more confident facing her in battle. Now let's get out there and crack some heads.